And as I count back from 10 to 1, you're just going to become more and more relaxed. So just breathing normally and naturally, feeling comfortable. I'm going to count back from 10 to 1, 10, 9, just gradually relax, 8, 7, 6, just relaxing more and more, 5, 4, really relax. You feel your feet against the floor, your back against the chair. One hand might feel warmer than the other. You feel more and more relaxed. And as you count to one, you imagine a door, and you can imagine opening that door. And as you open that door, you feel really calm and really relaxed. And just go back to a time in your life where you felt relaxed and calm, and notice what you see, what you hear, and what you feel. And just carry on walking down the pathway one foot in front of the other feeling relaxed and calm you hear relaxing sounds you let relaxing feelings spread through every cell and muscle of your body and you notice the things around you colors any smells and tastes and you begin to feel really relaxed and calm and as you carry on walking, you feel more and more relaxed and more comfortable, feeling safe, secure, peaceful and really relaxed. In that state of mind, I want you to reassociate to a time or times when you have had an allergic reaction to food, drink, damp, and just reassociate to a time when you had a re allergic reaction. And when you reassociate to a time, just give me a nod. As you reassociate that time, just notice who you are, what you see, what you feel, what you hear. Just describe the symptoms. You can describe the symptoms and what's happening to you and where you are and what you see and what you feel. So fully associating, notice where you are, what's going on, what the symptoms are, what's happening to you, where you are what you hear and what you feel and just gradually come back to the here and now in your own time in your own pace okay what was it like um, not tight but heavy heavy but tight does that make sense okay heavy tight yeah what else? Should I just run the yeah, or? just describe every, oh, the whole experience. Um, so generally, I get like um, like a it's almost like a turning in of the body. So it, like, I'll, I'll start to hunch because I'll, I'll feel tight in my chest. Yeah. Um, an itchiness in my throat, um, runny nose. That's the worst. It just it's like a like a tap. It just doesn't stop. Um, and then a whistling, a wheeze, a, we a constant wheezing in my chest, and almost like I've got a weight on my chest, yeah. so I can't breathe properly. Um, itchy eyes. Okay. Anything else? Just general feeling of being run down as, as a result, and not being able to. Do any do things because I'm feeling like that. Like I need to re feel like, feeling like I need to rest all the time. Now. When you started the experience, was it anywhere specific that you were? Or? It was um, a house that I lived in a couple of years back where there was damp, and um, I didn't realise the extent of the damp until a while after after I was there a while, and then it. You know, because I'd had a 
contract on the place. I had to stay there, but yeah. it was just that my symptoms got worse, and yeah. It was okay. Okay. What I'm going to do now, the, the next phase of the exercise, I'm just going to re-experience the uh, associations again. But what I want you to do is you re-associate the experience again. I'm going to get you to anchor the experience, and the easiest way to anchor the experience, I mean you can use any anchor you want, uh, but maybe it might be an idea um, to just anchor it on, on maybe your left hand. If you just mm -hmm. tap the top of your left hand, uh, when I, I'll, I'll tell you when to tap the left hand and then we can just anchor them there and we'll sort of proceed through the exercise. So once again, just really relax and let yourself go. Just breathing, really relax. I'm gonna count back from five to one. As I count back from five to one, you're gonna come more and more relaxed. Calm, relaxed. Five, four, really relax and going back to that time gradually where you felt calm and relaxed. It'll be back against the chair, your feet against the floor, one hand might feel warmer than the other. Three, just gradually relaxing, and two, and just let everything go, clearing your mind, and one, and just feel really relaxed and calm, and go back to that time when you felt really calm, relaxed, safe, and secure. Let everything go. And just feel really relaxed, and your heart rate slows down, your breathing slows down, you feel relaxed and calm. I want you now to think about the association, the experience of having the attack. Reliving the experience of having an attack. The symptoms, the feelings happening in the here and now. And make the association as strong as you possibly can. The tightness, the heaviness, the wheezing and itchiness, running nose, chest, itchy eyes and throat. Reliving all the symptoms. And as you relieve all the symptoms, just let them run through every cell and muscle of the body. And as those feelings begin to reach a peak intensity, just tap the back of your left hand as the feelings reach a peak intensity. Just tapping the back of your left hand. And hold. And just gradually relax and gradually come back to the here and now in your own time, in your own pace. Okay, Crozy coming back, letting the feelings go. Okay, what was it like to relive the experience? What, what was it like to, to go in that experience? Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I would have thought so, yeah. yeah. What about the sensations? How, how do the actual sensations feel? I could, I could. I, I just felt like a prickling in the back of my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you felt you actually felt the. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And, and you will do because the mind is very powerful. Yeah. The mind can't live in the real and non-reality. It's yeah. like, for example, someone tells you, you know, how's the lemon taste like? Yeah. You can sort of feel that association. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, and that's key. So what we want to do is want to see what goes on when you're having this reaction, mm -hmm. because you, you haven't, you don't always have the reaction. And nobody always has the reaction. Yeah. So we, the thing is, when we're not having the reaction, what's different when we are having the reaction? Mm -hmm. What's the immune system doing different? Is it possible for the immune system to do what it does when it's not reacting, when it is reacting? Mm -hmm. it, it's possible. Um, but obviously we want to make sure that, you know, we, 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 we can achieve that. So just once again, really relax, please, and just let yourself go. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth comfortably, or breathe in as comfortably as you can. Just breathing comfortably as you normally do, counting back from five to one. As you count back from five to one, you can imagine walking down a staircase. Five, four, as each foot lands on the floor, you begin to become more and more relaxed. 
just really relax to and as you walk down that final stair you feel a warmth in one hand one and you walk through the stairs through a door and you begin to feel really relaxed and calm breathing naturally and normally and just think of a pleasant time in your life going back to a pleasant time or thinking of something pleasant, something you enjoy to do and fully associate to the experience fully associate to the experience you're doing something you enjoy doing and that's what you see, what you hear, and what you feel and think of the sensations and feelings when you're not suffering an allergy attack when things are normal. Think of how you feel when things are normal and what it's like when things are normal and you feel calm, relaxed. Feeling relaxed and calm. And just gradually coming back to the here and now in your own time, in your own pace. Okay, what was it like when you were doing something pleasant, something that you know you felt relaxed? You felt calmer. Good. Okay, calmer, good. Happy. Happy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, completely, complete contrast to the first yeah. experience. Okay. We mentioned earlier that the way the immune system works, and one of the ways, the analogy I use for the immune system, if you think of, say, a, imagine you've got a fleet of warships for example now they're like the immune system mm -hmm. and they're there on standby they're guarding an island they're there on standby and in those warships you've got obviously artillery that can fire against an enemy and generally speaking the warships are there they're tranquil in the water you know the water's nice and blue and clear and it's just a nice day and they're just tranquil they just they're there and, and, and then what happens if there's any danger mm -hmm then they go on alert yeah. the radar's alerted and then they respond if it is danger they'll respond and they'll obviously battle the, the the danger yet sometimes what's possible if you can imagine if they perceive danger mm -hmm. they make a mistake and basically they begin to attack when they shouldn't attack there's obviously a mistake you know and, and basically they start firing missiles and they start engaging in war but they really shouldn't be doing that because there is no danger there's no response but for whatever reason they've picked up on, 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 on the communication that there is danger and the immune system is quite similar to that metaphorically the immune system has got uh, is there uh, and basically what the immune system will do now I don't profess to be a medical expert it's not my field yet having done research uh, on, on the area and, and linked into what we do here my understanding is that uh, what can happen is the immune system will trigger a response now generally speaking when it triggers a response and we have the flu mm -hmm. like you know when you got like a cold or a flu and even days before you start feeling a bit achy and you think well i must be coming down with something here and then it, and, then, and it, exactly and that's the body kicking in mm -hmm. it's obviously um attacking the bacteria or the flu or, or, or the germ or whatever's invaded the body uh, and it basically will launch a response yet in saying that what happens sometimes it seems to go through the same process with things that aren't mm -hmm. harmful to us like certain foods that we eat mm -hmm. they don't affect everybody because not everybody's immune system will happen the same way but for some reason it will happen to some people mm -hmm. and they'll react and as I mentioned earlier it could be due to an emotional response it could be that someone ate that food or came across that situation and had a bad reaction to it in the mind thereafter sees the process of that food as a as a danger to the body so the body's trying to protect itself but it's making a mistake 
it shouldn't be doing that. It should be doing what you were doing previously, calm and happy. But for some reason, whenever that happens, it sparks a response. Mm -hmm. um, but obviously, we want to remove that response. So if you just relax and close your eyes again, on the count back from five to one. Okay, just really relax and let yourself go. I'm going to count back from five to one. As I count back from five to one, you're going to become more and more relaxed. Five, imagine walking down a staircase. Four, three, and you take the final two stairs. Two, and one. And as you take the final stair, you walk through a door and as you walk through that door you become really relaxed, calm, at peace, really relaxed and calm. And in your mind you can begin to process the operation of your immune system and the immune system. So our immune system has certain marker cells they have a job to identify harmful objects as germs and viruses that have entered the body. And we have killer cells whose job it is to latch on and destroy foreign organisms. Just like the, or just like a fleet of ships on standby, guarding an island for danger. They have a radar. They have artillery that will react to perceived da to danger. You've got a fleet of ships that will react to danger. Yet sometimes it's possible that they can make a mistake and start firing without realizing they're firing at what isn't the enemy. And it could be plausible and possible that the immune system could also react in certain situations where it mistakes or mistakenly is triggered into action by a benign substance which it then marks and attacks causing allergic reaction. Thinking that we're not born allergic to certain substances yet we pick up things along the way so it might be plausible and possible that based on an emotional response to a certain substance the immune system begins to recognize it as perceived danger and begins to react. And also, it doesn't always react that way to certain substances, just in certain situations as well. Yet, we're not born that way, so potentially that could be one explanation as to what's happening. And with that in mind, we can start building the belief that we can correct the immune system in a way to react like it's supposed to react and just going to gradually bring it back into here and now in your own time in your own pace okay so we're going to lock that down into the subconscious mind as i said before you know i'm not medically qualified yet having done my research and having looked at various journals and read into things that's a plausible response so the next phase we're going to do now is to go through a time and at least at a time when you didn't react and see what goes on in the mind then and we're going to anchor that and you can anchor that on the other hand okay so this time I'm going to just relax again close your eyes and let yourself go I'm going to count backwards from five to one as I count back from five to one just really relax five really relax four just walking down a flight of stairs three really relax two really relax begin to relax and imagine walking through a door and going back to a time when you feel safe, secure, calm and relaxed. Imagine that it's a sort of day when the conditions are such you will suffer from an allergy attack and just sit comfortably and relaxed. Imagine you're looking across a room and there's a solid unbreakable glass screen 
about four inches thick and on the other side of the screen I want you to see yourself on the other side of the screen so it's four inches of glass it's unbreakable and as you can see yourself on the other side you can see yourself just walking along and doing what you normally do with your immune system operating efficiently the micropans is doing their work efficiently marking the foreign bodies and killings and the killer cells destroying them appropriately so your immune system is working perfectly well when it needs to react it reacts to any viruses or germs when it doesn't need to react it stays calm and relaxed okay, calm and really relaxed the immune system is working perfectly well notice what you see what you hear and what you feel as the immune system is working really really well you're feeling calm the feelings, any sounds that the immune system makes and it's working perfectly well and as you notice the immune system working perfectly well on standby and ready to react to anything that could cause any danger you feel calm and confident trusting in your immune system to react when it needs to react and I want you to fully associate to your immune system and seeing yourself in a situation where your immune system is working perfectly well and noticing how that makes you feel calm, relaxed confident and when those feelings are at a peak intensity I want you to press your right hand, the right anchor so when the experience is at its peak intensity just press the right anchor and hold and notice how good it feels and how well and appropriately your immune system is working for you you're feeling relaxed and calm and once you imagine now in your mind as you gradually release the anchor imagine floating into that room that you were seeing yourself doing what you do, walking and doing things that you were doing and allow those good feelings and appropriate actions on the part of the immune system to integrate now let those efficient and appropriate immune system reactions strength and integrate fully and completely so you can imagine yourself now in a situation where you are relaxed and calm and the immune system is working perfectly well and just gradually come back to the here and now in your own time, in your own pace what did the immune system look like when it was working well? it would look differently, it would feel differently Like some colours, but it was like yeah, not a circle, but like a, okay, just like a move, something that was moving, okay, like flowing, moving and flowing. Yeah, it's a contrast to when it's working differently, and, and that's the difference between the two, really. And that's the key. It's sort of getting an association to that free flowing uh, movement there, uh, which which is key. That's the key. Uh, I want you just to once again to just close your eyes and really relax and let yourself go. So I'm going to come back from five to one. Five, just feeling relaxed. Four, three, and imagine walking down 
final flight of two stairs and you're breathing naturally and normally feeling relaxed and calm as you walk through the final stair you walk through a door you feel safe secure relaxed and calm okay feeling relaxed and calm in that state of relaxation I want you to just imagine just imagine pressing your two angles together and holding the right hand with the left hand and just collapsing them and letting them subside just releasing the feelings of the anchors, letting them subside, letting them go notice how good you feel as you let the anchor subside and the immune system is working appropriately for you feeling calm and relaxed and noticing the immune system working efficiently And I want you to imagine in your mind floating back to the room that you were originally in when you were watching yourself and the immune system in your mind. And allow those good feelings and the functionality of the immune system working perfectly well to integrate. Let the efficient and appropriate immune system reaction strengthen and integrate fully and completely. Feeling relaxed, calm, and noticing your representation to the immune system. And as the anchors finally subside, imagine being in a situation where you have been prone to an allergic reaction. So your future pacing at a time or time where you could be in a situation where you're prone to allergic reaction. And just notice how you feel relaxed and calm and your feelings in that situation. Your immune system working perfectly well and efficiently and as it works efficiently and perfectly well you feel calm relaxed and gradually just come back to the here and now in your own time in your own pace okay what does it feel like when you went into a future situation where you, you may be prone to a reaction if you could go into that situation with calmer a lot calmer yeah. Okay. So you not fearing an outcome as okay. much. Okay. Okay. Brilliant. Not fearing an outcome as much. 